Hey guys, Eric here and I'm here in the Camaro garage, which is now the Corvette garage. Uh, it's very small and uh, what I wanted to go over today was adding the rear view camera to my car. I don't have the whole picture yet, but I just wanted to show you what I have now. I just took off uh, the basic cover. I've got a 1LT, which does not have the digital rear view camera, but I'm hoping to get this uh, at least started. So what I did was I ordered um, the rear view camera housing, and there it is installed. This comes off fairly easy, but what you do have to do is take off the vents. Those are pretty easy, and there's a, I've seen videos on how to do it. Um, there's nine screws, uh, Torx head screws, that you have to take off. There's nine on each side. You take those out. This comes up, the vents come up uh, pretty easily. And then I took a pry tool, plastic pry tool, to get the, the uh, cover off. And then I just snapped that in. I snaked through. Uh, that part comes with, uh, with this uh, cabling that goes to the, uh, the camera system. And so that's where I am right now. Just getting that installed and hopefully one day I'll be able to get uh, the cable so that I can uh, uh, get a functional rear view digital camera and save myself a lot of heartache when when I'm on the road because that's my biggest problem is with the one LT is that doesn't come with a digital camera which really helps out with visibility when you're on the road here's another shot of that camera cover plate and that comes with the camera I had Shaheen Chevrolet paint this uh, carbon flash so it just kind of makes a nice uh, transition uh, it used to be blue of course here's uh, the cover again and here are the um, these clips pressure clips I just uh, applied pressure and they popped right out so no big deal and then here again that's the cable that came with it and then there's these uh, screws that uh, torque screws that hold down the the vent those are easy to take off same thing on the other side I've, I've already snapped these together I didn't expect to do a video but here we are so that's what we've got going on right right now okay guys I just installed the rear view camera housing with the camera that comes from General Motors uh, do a quick recap that's pretty easy actually uh, this is the the housing there's nine screws that hold this these uh, vent panels in those are easy to take out but then the hardest part is really uh, putting the screws in that are reset those are the three in the top really hard to uh, to uh, reach over push them into the right pin uh, I would recommend getting them uh, the first ones at the bottom in first uh, very loosely and then because if you push in the pin at the top uh, the panel will pop up so you want to make sure you kind of pu push down on the top uh, screw the, the pin in from the bottom and uh, hopefully not strain yourself with that process so next once once that's in you'll see that um, this is the connector that will will be uh, left behind I've got that just uh, temporarily for now uh, hanging there but then uh, ultimately what I'd like to do is figure out a way to um, snake a, uh, a cable to the the cockpit well there we go if anyone else has some ideas on what I need to do next uh, I'll have to research the connector type because that looks a little bit odd to me so uh, or, or at least unfamiliar thanks for watching